Hello everyone, I'm the Saxia Gamer. Today we're here for something a little bit different. We're gonna start, <laughs> I'm gonna, this is the start of me branching out into other games other than Civ. And the first one that we're gonna try here is Anno 1800, which just came out last week on April 16th. And if you're not familiar with what Anno is, it is a city builder slash RTS uh, strategy game. I guess, you know, that's kind of redundant RTS strategy game, but you know, it's a strategy game in which you uh, construct your cities on little islands and there are other players in the game as well that you can have interactions with so you can trade with them, you can go to war with them, all sorts of things. Um, I should note before I uh, start, you know, playing here that this is actually the first Anno game I've ever played. I've never been into Anno that much, but I was really craving, you know, a new city builder game with some additional strategy elements and Anno 1800 was coming out and I figured I would pick it up and try it. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do today. So for Today we're just going to have kind of like a little first look, first impressions thing of Anno 1800. I have played a little bit, you know, right prior to recording this video, so that way I'm not totally in the dark. But if you want me to do a full series, you know, like a Let's Play of Anno 1800, feel free to let me know in the comment section below, and I will be more than willing to do so. Um, if you're not into Anno and you're really not interested, let me know as well, because I can always, you know, choose some other game. And if you have a game idea that you want to throw my way, uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below. But we're going to start a new game here. We're just going to go with a sandbox game. Um, we are going to go with more guidance just because I'm not really <laughs> that familiar with Anno yet. And we can choose our character. Um, so who do we want to be? This guy looks kind of funny. <laughs> a lot of these guys look kind of funny. Um, this guy looks kind of, he looks kind of cool though. He, he kind of reminds me of Pedro from, uh, from Civ. And then I guess all of these ones are locked that we have to play the campaign through a little bit to unlock. So, um, who do we want to take? Let's maybe take the funny hat guy. Yeah, what the heck? He's a, he seems like a real dude. Um, oh man, we get a logo too. What can we have? Is there anything music related for for like, you know, the Saxy Gamer? Ah, darn, it doesn't look like it. What do we want to pick? Um, Let's go with the train. I don't know why I like the train. And oh, of course, we have to go with the color pink. I actually, you know, strangely enough, I, even though my channel colors are like totally black and white, I do actually kind of enjoy the color pink. I don't know why. I, I used to hate it, but um, not so much anymore. Um, And my player name is obviously just going to be me. Um, and we are going to go with the normal difficulty. So there are multiple difficulties that you can go into that, uh, that influence how much starting money you have, um, what the size of the world is, how many minerals, the fertility, construction refunds, and, uh, building locations. But, uh, since I'm a noob at this game, I am, of course, just going to go with the, the normal difficulty. Let's go ahead and start things up here. See, th this game very much, it reminds me of, like, what I wished Banished was. Um, I'm not sure if any of you played Banished a long... I forget, it's not been that long since Banished came out. Actually, it might have been a good while. It might have been 2012 that Banished came out in. Oh, hey, we got this guy talking to us now. Oh, thank you, my friend. So yeah, here we are. We are uh, starting on our little settlement here. Um, I'm not. I'm honestly not sure if the world is procedurally generated or if it is a predetermined map every time. Um, I believe that this is the same map that I had last time. So I would. I would assume that you know you're starting on the same map every time, but maybe that is based on difficulties. The people want a place for supplies. So yeah, the first thing we have to do here is place down a marketplace, and then we can start placing down some houses as well. So we start with our small trading post right here, as you can see. Which kind of serves as like a storage spot, and you can also um, you can also trade things out to other players, or you purchase goods as well. So we could put down a marketplace. Also, I like to sort by um, like this one rather than uh, progress type. So we'll just go ahead and plop down our. Uh, does this not fit symmetrically? Okay, good, it does. I was gonna be very upset if it wasn't symmetrical. Um, and then we can go ahead and we can put some roads all around this thing, and we're gonna get some houses down as well. So maybe we'll just go with like a nice. Oop. Go with like a nice straight road coming off here, and we can put down some houses. So right now we just have farmers residences, but you will be able to upgrade these later on as you unlock more things. You reach a new milestone. And much like with a game like City Skylines, there are uh, milestones that you reach with your respective population as you advance your city, and that's how you like that's how you unlock um, additional things to build, like uh, uh, like more technologies and that stuff. So kind of a cool thing. But yeah, see, like, th this game definitely gives me, it gives me major Vanished vibes, which which is a very good thing, because Vanished was a game that I always really enjoyed, but I just wish it was able to do more, and I, I'm pretty sure that this game, um, this game does just that. It also is a really good-looking game as well, and right now I'm only playing on the medium preset, because my CPU would probably catch on fire if I played higher and tried to record at the same time, which, 
man, I really need to get a streaming PC or something because, <laughs> uh, like, the, the more demanding games nowadays are, you know, they're, they're they're doing a number on my PC. So maybe maybe I'll eventually have to build a second PC to like, um, and I'll get a capture card so that way I can transfer data like that and not take a performance hit when I record. But who knows? That would be a very expensive upgrade to invest in. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I guess. Um, so right now, oh, we have to build two more farmers resi- man, two more farmers residences. English is not always an easy one, is it? But I guess we'll just plop them down here. We'll actually build four more. You outdo yourself. We outdo ourselves. Look at that. So, alright, very nice. We'll put little roads out here. And this is gonna kinda just be our city center. It's kind of in a phallic shape right now, isn't it? <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, that's fine. Um, one of the things we can start doing now, it's going to give us a quest for it, but we can start putting down a lumberjack hut. So the lumberjack hut obviously is going to farm wood because you can see we have resources here. So right now timber is what we build the majority of our things out of. Yeah, so right now you can see um, this is kind of the goal to get new things unlocked is to attract more farmers. So these that I've been building here are farmers huts, um, obviously, which are going to allow farmers to live in them. And eventually you'll get to workers and stuff of that sort as well, which are kind of like the upgraded versions. Um, but farmers are our population right now. You can see we have 33 extra workers as well. So we do have a bit of room to expand. So let's go ahead and put down some timber stuff. Um, and this kind of works by, it consumes the area that you can see around it, like in the gray. Um, and the farmers will then, or the lumberjackers, uh, <laughs> that's a weird term for it. But they'll, they'll plant trees in that area um, and then subsequently harvest them as well. So I think we'll put them, we'll put them a little bit far away because I want to save this, this space over here for like my city center. So maybe I'll put down two, what do you say? Two down here. We're obviously going to need some roads all the way out here. So we'll connect the two of them together. And then maybe we'll connect it right back up on here. And another thing that we're going to need since we're going to be, we're gonna be getting uh, logs here from the lumberjack's hut. And then um, we also are going to need a sawmill to process those logs. So we'll put it down probably just right over here as well. Right along the path. Yeah, we'll toss it down. Toss it down right in the middle. And then the other thing I know that we're going to need is a small warehouse, which is, you see that there's these little horse carts out here that um, send people, or that will transport the logs um, over to the warehouse, and then from the warehouse they'll go over to the sawmill as well. And look, there's a little a little herd of deer that are just running on. Look, there's a baby deer. Oh, they're going to run into this bear. They're going to get mauled by the bear. That's great. Rip. Alright, what's this? Planting forest. Yeah, so see, right now it's planting the forest currently, so is this one... Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get the warehouse down. So let me plop that down maybe right here. Just because I don't want to put too much stuff in the in the range of the lumber huts. Because you can see that like if you put stuff in there, the percentage that it can utilize goes down. So I don't want to do that. A grain of my trust in so wait, let's see. One, two, three. Or three, one, two, three. So... You'll have to supply them with the necessary, starting with fish. Ah, oh, the farmers are hungry as well. So yeah, obviously food is another thing that you need to provide in this game. And the first one that you can uh, get for that is a fishery, which just is gonna, you know, get get some fish for your people to eat. I wonder if I can put it in this river over here. I see, I, I kind of, I want to put it in the river, but I don't think you can. It's like, look at how cool the river looks. Like, ah, oh, that's some, that's some scenic stuff. Hey, look, we'll get like a nice shot. Mountains in the background, our big boat right here in the middle. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and place down a fishery. I guess we'll just toss it down right here next to next to our start location. And speaking of this boat, you actually can move around because there are other islands in the game. So I'm just going to send mine, like, I don't know, down here somewhere to see if he can, he can find a boat or uh, find another island. Every fish they catch needs to be delivered to a warehouse or a trading post. Be sure to lay a road between them. So yeah, we actually... So you see... Um, right here, even though we do technically, like, have stuff around, we need a road right here to actually, um, to get the horse cart out of there. So you can see if we, like, hover with a road near, it'll put a little ramp down. We'll just put another road down behind those houses, and now our little, our horse cart's gonna carry all the fish. Oh, we've just met somebody as well. So we've just met the Chinese lady down here, which she has her own settlement. Oh, wow, she has significantly larger settlement than we do. Oh, look, she's got like a nice pub over here, man. Really showing us up. We gotta, we gotta step up our game. 
All right, let's go back to our land, though. And I think we we definitely do have some time to yeah. Yeah, I know. I need more farmers. All right. So speaking of which, let's go ahead and plop down some farmers' huts. Uh, which we can plop down a bunch right here as well. Maybe we'll row a road around. Oh, we get a nice a nice looking city center. What else can we build? Not really much yet. We don't really have the stuff for a pub or anything. So, as I mentioned, there is a diplomacy option in this game, so you can see that you you start out with peace with everybody. You can you can degrade to war, you can go to trade rights, and you can even make an alliance. So, you can interact with people, so you can uh, create a treaty for trade right, rights or non-aggression, or you can declare war. And you can interact with them as well, so that way you can improve your reputation. So you can see, um, starting out as a base here, my reputation 60. And there's a high chance that I will succeed in trying to flatter her, so I guess we'll go for it. Uh, we failed. Um, well, okay, so she was she was not impressed with our flattery, so it's unfortunate, but uh, I guess it happens, right? And you see, um, you don't need to produce everything yourself, you can just pay for it. So right here, you can go ahead and purchase anything should you desire to do so. So I really wanted, I could just click on that and I could say bloop, and I could, you know, purchase a bunch, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Yeah, I don't even, I actually don't really know what I'm doing here, so I'm kind of playing around with this, um, when I really probably should not be. Oh, okay, I see. So, this is the thing, so if you set it to balance, then it'll balance itself up to that limit. You can set it so that you purchase up to this limit, or you can sell, um, you know, up to the limit set, so... Interesting things. I'm not really sure how that works too much just because I met as I mentioned I've literally played this game for probably about 30 minutes prior to, prior to recording this video So I am equally a noob, but we also managed to uh, level up our uh, our village a little bit. So interesting enough Which let's see. What did we all get? Oh, what did I do? I did something evidently. Oh, so now we, we can make uh, we can put down a potato farm if we really want Which sure why not right? We'll go. We'll go put the potato farm out here. Maybe, maybe we'll put it out this way a little bit more. Or actually, no, maybe maybe we'll save, like, this area right here for our city, and we can put all the farms and stuff, like, out this way. So we can go ahead and continue to make a road down here. And then we'll go ahead and plant some potatoes. And then with potato farms and stuff, you, uh, not only do you have to build the, the building, but you also have to designate the field. So we can make one that's, like... I don't know, what do you think? That large? That's that's a pretty large potato farm. Yeah, that's, an, that's an homage to Potato McWhiskey right there. Planting down a big, big old potato farm. And also, we are going to need clothes for people, so we can put down a sheep farm as well. We'll put it right across from the potato farm, I guess. And uh, with the sheep farm, you have to put down sheep fold, which are like just fields for your sheep, so... Just like that, and you can see all the sheep have magically appeared um, in front of the sheep farm. And I'm going to extend this road just because it's bothering me that it doesn't quite go out the whole way. So let me, I'm going to put the little, uh, little dirt road over there in the, the, the queue there. I guess it's not really a queue, but like the, the shortcuts menu. Alright, we're kind of, we're, I think we're ready to expand our city a little bit more. I guess we can come this way a little bit. I want to try my best to not make it like too too gridlocked, you know? <laughs> I have a tendency of doing that in a lot of games, um, like city builder games, that I, ju I just go by a grid and make everything on a grid, but I'll try my best to not do that this game. Will I succeed? Uh, probably not, but <laughs> we can at least dream, right? Oh, I ran out of wood. You can see whenever you run out of resources, it just kind of puts down little blueprints, and when you have the resources, you can click the little button, and it will, it will allow you to... Um, to construct. Also, what's going on over here? No warehouse in range. Oh, what's your range? You oh, the warehouse is just barely not close enough. All right, I guess we'll just have to put down another one. Maybe we'll put down another one all the way down here. Because I guess down here, you know, we'll put down a bunch of farms and stuff. We can get clay. Um, clay is another thing you'll eventually need for bricks, so. We don't quite have five wood, though, so. <laughs> I think we need to get we need to get more wood. Oh, okay, so that's actually how you remove the thing. Um, you, you remove the balance thing if you just um, right-click on it. So, always always good to know, you know? 
Oh, I didn't mean to hit menu. I wanted to speed it up a little bit so that way we can wait for the, the sawmill to produce some more wood. How are we doing on that? There we go. We got one more. And we're up to 10, so we can put down that other warehouse, which we'll toss down right next to the sheep farm. New buildings have been unlocked, so we unlock the pub and we unlock the fire station, which would probably be a good idea to put down if we don't want everything to burn to the ground, obviously. Also, it looks like we have some, some unhappy population, which is... You know, not not exactly a good thing. We can put down a pub though, so that way we can maybe make them a little bit happier. Look, we'll, maybe maybe we'll try to like beautify the pub as well. Oh, what's going on over here? No connection to harbor. Oh, okay. But yeah, the uh, the houses all do need road connections to them. Uh, what's what's that deal? Destroyed building. Oh no. They must have. They got too unhappy. Oh so, well, I guess we'll have to put down another one then. Maybe, maybe we can have like a nice seaside pub over here. Let's rotate it. How far back can we put it? We put it back there. So let's see. I have a little path going in. We can put down some nice trees. Oh no, I was, I was about to make it not symmetric. We need to get rid of that tree. <laughs> I like I like the little look whenever you tear down the trees. All right, so I think I think that looks pretty okay. We'll have our little pub, our pub by the shore. Perfect for everybody to get a little happier. We are still running out of wood though, so let's go into super speed mode. Wait until this guy. Okay, there we go. I think these guys are both. I think this guy's carrying planks. Yep, he's carrying five planks over. And once he delivers those, we can construct the pub. He's unloading. I think. I guess, yep, yeah, there we go, he unloaded it. So now we can construct our pub. And look at that. Ah, oh, look at look look at the little pub. You got all these all these musicians out here. Ah, oh, too bad then is, is anybody playing a saxophone? I don't think saxophones existed in, in the year eighteen hundred, but Yeah, they they were probably soon to be invented, but no, we just got some some filthy trombone players. Ugh. And this guy playing the tuba. But so yeah, now now hopefully our people will be more happy because they actually have something to do with their life. Which, yeah, look at that. We're now up to content, so that's always a good sign. Um, I wonder, are we having... Yeah. We are producing more logs than, um, than planks. So we actually can afford to put down another. We also have a ton of extra workers. We have 108 extra workers, so we can put down a sawmill. I'm sure a lot of people are just just killing themselves at the fact of how inefficiently I'm using pretty much everything in this game. So yeah, we'll go ahead and put a sawmill over here so that way we kind of use the space. Like everybody working the potato fields. Hopefully we don't have a potato famine. That'd be a real shame and a half, wouldn't it? <laughs> and we can finish these two houses over here as well. Oh, that's right. Where's our ship at? He's over here. So maybe let's go, let's go explore down there in this area of the map. Where my cursor is. Maybe maybe he'll find something. Also, I like I like the nice little pink sails there on my ship. He sails majestically out into the sea. Revealing the fog of war. Oh, that's right, we put down the sheep farm. But we actually um we forgot to put down the thing to actually make the clothes. We also same thing with the uh the thing. We for, we forgot to put down a distillery. We 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 put down a potato farm, but we didn't actually put down a, a distillery to make anything with it, so. Let's see, we can put down the knitter right over here, maybe. Okay. Which way is the right orientation? Is that the one? That one looks... Or is it this way? Nope, it's definitely that way. So, we can put it right here without compromising anything with the lumber mill, so we'll put it right there. Same thing with the schnapps distillery. We can put a schnapps distillery right there. And everything should be pretty good. Now I see it bugs me that this is this is the wrong way around. Hang on, I gotta I gotta flip it around. There we go. <laughs> now at least the road lines up. You know the the entrance lines up with the road. It was it was bugging me a little bit. And look at that. We got we got a nice little a nice little hamlet going on. Oh, we found another island. Anybody on this island? No. Look at that. It looks like a free island to me. The risk of fires is increasing. Well, that's probably not good. Where's my boat? Oh, there it is. Oh, so look at that. Nobody on this island. I'm sure I could take it over if I eventually wanted to. Yeah, oh, actually, I'd realize it says, it says up here that there's an unsettled 
island. There's potato fertility, hops fertility, red pepper fertility, and fur abundance. Interesting. So, yeah, you can see our goals are up here. So we have um, attractiveness for the village. We also have the population level. And at the next population level, we can upgrade people into workers. We also have to put down a fire station. So that way, whenever everything lights on fire, our people don't die. So we can go ahead and plop that down. And you can see it's going to train some firefighters for us. Hopefully nothing out here catches on fire, because if it does, we're kind of in for it. But yeah, this was a, uh, you know, short look at the game Anno 1800. I think this is where I'm going to stop for right now. Um, if you're interested in me playing more of Anno 1800, I can certainly, you know, continue this game. Or if you want me to start a new one and just start fresh and actually do like a let's play of it, um, I can do that. I could play through the campaign. There's a lot of things I could do with this game um, if people are interested. So if you are interested, let me know in the comment section below. Or if there are any other games that you would particularly like to see. I mean, obviously, I can't promise that I'm going to play them. But if you have any good suggestions, let me know as well. And, uh, well, thank you, everyone, for watching. I have been the Saxy Gamer. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.